from what your experience, what you've seen with some folks in the chat room or, or newbies, what are people sometimes incorrectly focused on as far as, you know, when they're trading? Why they're focused on one thing when they should be maybe looking at something else? Yeah, I, I, I think this one, you know, um, it, it's tough because I, I don't want to put traders in one box because different traders have different styles that work or, you know, that may work for them and may not work for others. I, I think just from those that I interact with. Um, Could it be the opinions of others, news, uh, yeah, the I, fact I think that the market can't keep going up? That, that kind of get under my skin is um, they, they tend to follow certain traders, whether, you know, Twitter traders or whoever, blindly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this guy made, supposedly made, you know, 200% or 500% on his options play, therefore all his trades are going to be right. And I just follow blindly. Yeah. And I think that part of not taking responsibility for your trades and just following blindly um, is, is a sure way to blow your account out. Sure. Because um, I, I, what I don't understand is if you're trading and you're putting money down into your trading business, whether you're full-time or, or part-time, um, you should be as careful with it as you are with the fact that if you go out and shop for something, you're not you're not willing to pay, um, you know, some for something that's you, you think you can get ten percent cheaper. Right. I think um, being responsible for for your trades, um, knowing uh, that you have to actually learn certain things and not just you know follow somebody just because they have they. they they have FaceTime in CN on CNBC um, or, or Bloomberg or, or what have you. Or they have 10,000 followers on Twitter. Right. Ooh, must be a good trader. Well, you know, maybe, maybe not. I mean, maybe they are, but, you know, um, what if you haven't followed, you know, he's in a drawdown phase and, you know, you, you ended up following the next five trades, which are losers. Well, so what happens if Twitter goes away? <laughs> yeah. What happens if Twitter goes away, or that that person goes away yeah. on Twitter? It, it happens, um, and you know, there's there's a lot of. It's funny because I think there's a bull market in uh, trading services out there. Yeah, I I, I, I think so. I, I see Twitter. You know, I've I've seen folks that I follow or I put on my list who who make great calls, and I'll give them that they make great calls. And you know, a month later they're setting up their service. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, uh, I'm not saying that too, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I'm not saying one service is better than the other. It's just like, it, there's just so many trading services out there. Yeah, you know, it's there's amazing. There's a lot to choose from. Absolutely, there's a lot. There is a lot to choose from. So it, it, it depends on you know the type of uh, style that you have. Um, um, so basically, it's take responsibility for your trades. You've got to do your own homework. This is probably one of the hardest, difficult, most in egregious. Or I, I would say. Difficult endeavors one take can take on their own. Oh, so absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I don't think you can come up with any other "quote unquote" job if you consider trading trading as a job, and you should if, it, if you're a full-time trader. That you can walk into work, spend all the hours at night researching, and still come out, you know, with a with a minus after the end of the day. Right. Absolutely. I, I can't think of another uh, um, occupation that. You know, you put in your hours, and you work overtime, and you're still get a red. <laughs> that's a great. I never even thought of it like that. That's a great <laughs> analogy, brother. <laughs> that's good. 